In case of an emergency, you'd like for the fire department to be able to find your house, right? And when you order a pizza, same thing. What we're going to do is show you two ways you can identify your house. One is a low-tech way, and that is painting the curbs out here. We're going to mask it off so that we have a background square. Won't be exactly square, but anyway, we'll have a background space there. Now because it's windy, we're going to put some extra masking around here to take care of any overspray that we might have. This is not a thing of beauty either, but it's going to get the job done. Now we'll get ready to spray our background. Now you probably don't need a decorator to tell you what colors. We're going to use white for the background, black for the numbers. You can actually get paint that will glow in the dark if you want to. So as they say in church, let us spray. Now I know you're eager to paint those numbers on there, but wait until the background paint dries. Well now that the background is dry, we're ready to uh, spray on our numbers. You know, you can get these stencil numbers at the hardware store or the home center for a couple of bucks. And be sure you don't put them on upside down. Now we're ready to paint the numbers. Well now, we're ready to see what happened. Hey, you know what? That looks pretty doggone good. But now I want you to go down the block with me and we'll see the high-tech way to do this. Well now here's the high-tech way, but don't let that scare you because it's real easy to install and easy to understand. As you can see, you can see the numbers quite well in the daytime. However, at night, you've got a photoelectric cell and the light comes on so you can see them really good at night. Now the wiring is a piece of cake. We have to attach the two wires to the transformer here. And by having a transformer, that means we're going to be dealing with low voltage, which is another good thing. And at the other end, we've stripped the wires back. And these two little wires are going to go right in there. Now our first step in installing the unit is to put the back plate up here. And all we need to do is mark for the screws. Now next we have to drill this center hole so that the wires can come through. All right, now we got the hole through there. Let's see if we can get Gene to feed those wires through. Gene, feed the wires through. Now you do remember that we're going to have to stick these two little wires into these two little bitty holes. We want to feed this excess wire back in there and snap the face on the bracket back there and we're in business. And the wiring is super simple. All you have to do is plug it in. Now these two projects don't take very long to complete, but they might give you and your family added peace of mind in case of an emergency or in knowing that the pizza guy can find your house.